back everybody today we're going over this little pistol right here of course as you look at it it looks a lot like a cz75 and that's because of course it's one of the cz75 clones that are out there on the market this one here is from tarsal mass and uh, this one's called the mega so uh, there are some differences that we're going to get into of course here in just a second between this and the cz variants but on its own um, as its own pistol is how we're going to review it today so we're going to go over the details of the pistol itself basically uh, my history using it and uh, just what I think of it overall. But for those of you guys who are unfamiliar with this pistol, um, I think they're relatively new here to the US and they're imported by TR Imports out of Texas. And uh, there's about, I think 250,000 of these pistols that have been made so far in worldwide circulation. So while they're relatively new to the US, um, they're pretty common around the world. So that's not huge numbers, but for a pistol, that's not small numbers either. So again, what we're gonna do is let the dogs take a look at it, make sure they inspect it and get their seal of approval. And uh, after that, we'll get into the details coming up next. up it comes with two 17 round mags that you see here they are marked sarsal mags and um, they are compatible with any other cz mags out there on the market that's huge in my opinion because like let's just say we have right here a cz 75 20 round mag you guys can see it fits locks in just fine and it'll lock the uh, slide back so function has been 100% with any of the CZ75 mags we've tried in it so far so that's certainly something going for it there because of course CZ75 mags are everywhere and they are reasonably priced. Moving on to the details of the pistol itself it is a steel slide and frame and this sucker here comes in at 34 ounces unloaded so it is a soft shooting pistol however it's a heavy pistol so pros and cons to that but um, I recently took a new shooter out and this was one of the guns I had him sort of start out with after a 22 because it's just so easy to shoot due to the weight and of course the 9 millimeter and the bore access that we'll get into here in just a second but the magwell there has a slight bevel to it as you guys can see it's not very much uh, probably a little bit more bevel would be nice if they wanted to do that the grips themselves are a polymer grip and they have a good texture to them it does help the uh, pistol stay in your hand pretty decently i didn't have any problems with that and on the front and the rear we do have these vertical serrations and i've said this in a million videos and i'm going to say it again but companies if you're not going to do checkering please do horizontal serrations so that way when the pistol is actually recoiling like this it offers some resistance. These are, are better than nothing uh, the way they are, but I would like to see the horizontal rather than vertical um, serrations in there. But either way, moving on. You guys can see we have the mag release here on the left side of the pistol and the magazines themselves are cut for ambidextrous uh, use so if you wanted to swap it over you certainly can without issue and most cz mags at least modern ones that you guys are going to find out there are going to have that ambi feature as well as you guys can see here this one here does so it is swappable for those of you guys that want to do that now the big feature that i think a lot of people are going to either like or dislike on this pistol is this sucker right here that is the safety so in order to fire it you would actually push up as you draw the pistol out and at this point you can fire down is safety so it's sort of backwards for a lot of folks at least in the u.s anyway who are used to say like 1911 safeties um but it's a you know a weapons handling issue it's not really a, a pro or a con for the gun in terms of function it's just a pro or a con in terms of how people perceive it and what their preferences are so if you actually go over to their site it'll say that this is a double action single action pistol however functionally it really is at least in my opinion a single action pistol and the reason is uh, when you load the gun and you should know there that you can actually manipulate the slide with the safety on so you can load it up with the safety on that's something i do like about the pistol but when you load it um, there's no provision for decocking it so at this point if you wanted to actually decock it, you'd have to grab onto the hammer and pull the trigger and slowly release uh, i generally speaking do not recommend folks do that um, but it's possible if you want to now the double action trigger on this pistol is actually really good i almost wish it had the double action option um, because it's really only about 10 pounds and pretty smooth and then of course the single action is also quite good being a CZ variant, as you guys will see here. The reset there is a little bit longer than some. There's a little bit of slop when you take it up and then you pull, touch 
the wall off. We'll do that again. And it breaks on my scale just under five pounds. It's like 4.8, 4.7, something like that. So very smooth, very crisp trigger. It's not the greatest CZ trigger I've ever fired. It's not like a Cajun Gunworks trigger or anything like that, but all the components are steel. And uh, for folks who have been shooting a long time, you know that steel on steel throughout the process does really make for a crisp trigger, generally speaking. And uh, this one is pretty good in that regard. I do like the slide stop on the pistol. It's actually the same as the safety in terms of it has good machining and grooves built in there so you can get a good purchase on it. So if you want to lock the slide to the rear, inspect that the pistol is empty. It's very, very easy. And then to release it, very easy as well. Moving on to the slide, you can see that we do have some weight removed here on the slide with this milling down here in the angle. And then at the rear of the pistol, we have the serrations on top. Now this is a slide inside the frame design like most CZ inspired variants are out there. Um, the big pro of it is that it has a super low bore access, which I do really like. The con of it in most instances, and this is the case, is that in order to sort of rack the slide or clear malfunctions, whatever you'd be using that, uh, those serrations rather for, there's not as much gripping surface as there would be on a traditional pistol. So it really does take some getting used to, um, but with practice, it's a non-issue. And I've been shooting these uh, CZ variants for years and uh, I'm pretty used to it at this point, but I know folks who are used to say like a Glock or a 1911 are going to find that gripping surface relatively small. So just something to consider there. The sights on the pistol are all steel and they are basic three dot design. So uh, one thing I do like about them is that the ledge here on the rear could easily be used for one-handed manipulations and of course being steel, you don't have to worry about it breaking off. They're nothing fancy, but they do work just fine and present a good sight picture to the user. Now to take the pistol down is again, classic CZ in that regard. So you're, what you're gonna do is line these two little dots here on the rear up just like so and at this point we're going to push across here on the takedown lever sometimes that's a, little, that's a little bit stiff and i use the magazine to sort of pop it at that point you're just going to pull it out like so and let our slide go home and we'll take our guide rod out note that it is a stainless steel guide rod i'm sure some of you guys are really going to like that and then our barrel here um, is a 4.5 inch barrel. You can see that the serial number on there is etched in there and it is matching. The barrel is high polished. It has a nice wide feed ramp there as you guys can see. We've had zero issues feeding hollow points at all with this pistol. We've had zero issues feeding anything with this pistol. It's eaten everything we've fed it. You guys can get a look there on the inside of the slide. You'll see there's pretty good machining all the way around. It's uh, not bad in terms of that. And uh, if you look at the actual frame, same thing is apparent. Very, very good machining overall. To reassemble the pistol, we're just gonna go in reverse order. We'll put a barrel in there and then put our guide rod in and spring. And again, the slide here rides inside the frame. So you're gonna line that up there on the frame and we're just gonna slide it back. Now at this point, we're gonna line those two holes up again. Make sure that our barrel bushing is not in the way. Not bushing rather the barrel lugs are not in the way. Uh, pop that in, cycle it, make sure we're functioning. And we are, we're back in business. Those of you that watch the channel know that I have a ton of different CZ variants. Of course, this is their 75 Cold War inspired one. Um, so it's sort of a throwback to some of the early CZs, um, but you guys can see sort of how they compare. So one thing I should point out is that while the grips do look similar, they are not interchangeable. Um, of course, this version of the CZ has a rounded trigger guard. We have our squared off one here. Some of the later CZ-75s had that as well. And you can see on this one, of course, the earlier CZs uh, did not have the milling on the top of the slide. And even here on the dust cover, there's a little bit less taken off all the way around. So uh, it's definitely, like we said, inspired, but it's not exactly identical. And of course, Big, the big thing is that the CZs with the safeties, like this one here, the safety would be up and down to fire. And again, this one here is the opposite. I hit most of the important details of the pistol so far, at least as I deem them to be important anyway. A few that we left out is that this pistol does have a black nitrided finish, as you guys have seen throughout. However, it's also available with a stainless finish for those of you guys that prefer that. Now, this pistol, just like the CZ75 has, exceptional ergonomics. The CZ75 variants, there's a couple reasons people really like them. Number one, of course, reliability. Number two is that low bore access. So it really does seem like you can get faster follow-up shots with these type pistols than most others out there on the market. I tend to agree with that. And then the ergonomics. The ergonomics are phenomenal. Um, I have relatively large hands and these things just fit my hands 
like a glove. It's almost like if you naturally point with your finger, if you do the same while you're holding one of these guns, the pistol will pretty much point where you want it to go and where you're aiming at. So that is just a huge feature for a lot of folks. And I have, like I said, large hands. People with small hands feel the same way in my experience. So it seems to just be a universally really liked um, ergonomic uh, setup here in terms of these pistols. So I do like that for sure. Um, price on these ones is going to vary. So I've looked around and I've seen these as low as like 370 um, occasionally, but that was months ago. And nowadays when I look around, they tend to be more like the 400 to $450 price range. Now, I'm sure some of you guys are saying, well, why would I buy that instead of a CZ? Well, a comparable CZ, most places it's going to be 550 and up. So it's a little bit less than that for sure. And like I said, these are being imported by TR Imports in Texas. They do all the service for folks who buy these here in the US. So there is some support for that. It's not like you're just sort of out flapping in the wind if you bought one and did have a problem. Now, like I said, I've had a grand total of zero problems. I've had zero issues feeding anything, hull points, uh, full metal jacket, the total metal jacket stuff from Minuteman Munitions, which is the majority of what we put through it. It's eaten them up and um, asked for more. So the accuracy on this one has been excellent as well. Really, I don't have a whole lot of complaints about it. The only thing I really personally, me personally, don't like is the safety. It's just a little awkward for me. Um, but I mean, if this was a new pistol and or you just trained for that um, to you, it really shouldn't be an issue. Like I said, it's not a mechanical issue. It's just a personal preference and user interface issue. So that's about it. If you guys have any questions about the pistol that we didn't cover here in the video review, you can always post down below in the comment section. You can also post over at my Facebook page. As always, that is generally speaking the best way to get in touch with me these days. I see more of those messages um, than I do here or on Full30 or anywhere else where you guys may be watching me. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I truly appreciate it and I hope to see all of you in the next video. A bit of a recall, but not much. No, not too bad. What do you think? <laughs> it's wild. All right. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Your heart rate up a little bit. Yeah, totally. Cool. But you can see, though. I mean, obviously, you've never yeah. shot before. We're never. about 15 meters away, and he's hitting yeah. the steel. So, yeah. someone who's never shot. 